The LG G4 has been out for some time, but we finally have a way of gaining root on our system, specifically to most of the US variants of this device. So I'm gonna walk you through the process on how to do this on my LG G4, the T-Mobile variant. But not only that, if you have a T-Mobile variant, we also have access to Twerp. So I will walk you through the process of installing Twerp as well. And let's start a XTA root and Twerp installation on the LG G4. Follow the links that I'll give you guys in the description below. This is gonna open up the first page. There's four pages that we'll get to in a second. If you follow step one, you need to make sure to install the drivers. So make sure that you're running, if it's a non-Verizon version, download the top one, install it. If you're running Verizon, make sure you download this one and install it. Once th this is set up, you're pretty much ready to go to step two. Step two, we get to go to the next page, which enables us to download a file, but they also have it linked here in the same thread. So if you scroll further down right here, it says this is the LG, send command so it's called the lg root but essentially it has a command in there that says send command which we'll be using later so first thing we're going to do obviously is download extract that put it on a folder on your system and you're done the next thing we want to do is download the rooted system image that we're basically going to use for our device mine is a t-mobile variant so i went ahead and downloaded oops sorry for the color scheme here i went ahead and downloaded the t-mobile version if you are running verizon at&t or sprint of course you download your own and if you're running the international 815 model the 10c version here is the basic file that you need to download the file will download in about 1.5 gigs so that's in gigs with a g and make sure that once you have that extracted to the point where it looks like a system image and for me it's about five gigs almost and it does say system rooted h81110h so those are the things that we need to start with. If you do have a, access to a T-Mobile device and you'd like to install uh, the Twerp recovery, there's additional one more file. You can get that directly from this thread. You can scroll down and it'll under the download section here. We'll get to that at the end after we're done with the actual rooting process on our device. So the device is still running. As you can see, it's still a normal functioning device. What I'm gonna do here is just gonna go into the developer options under general, I'll go down. And I want to make sure two things are checked. One is for this process, which is USB debugging, and that's what we're going to use. Two is for the installation of Twerp. So I've checked the OEM unlock and I've checked the USB debugging for me on both sides on the device. And once you have this, we're going to go ahead and connect our device. Once this is done, we'll go into our terminal. And this is basically a terminal that's running within the same folder here. We're going to go ahead and run ADB devices. And you can see here that the device is actually connected. The next thing we can do here is we need to make sure that before we leave our device, there are two things we need to do. We need to transfer that massive four, almost five gigs of a system image to our root, basically on the main part of your device. So we'll open up a file manager, go to file, and this is internal storage, not SD card. You download the actual system image and leave it in its raw form. It's just an image.image .image file. The also, the, uh, we need to download the tour point if you have this for T-Mobile and I'll keep them both in the same section so that I can access them later. Once you have this done, go ahead and unplug the device and turn it off. Now, this is key. When you're, when you're turning off your device, make sure you unplug the cable from it because if you leave it plugged in, the device will actually reboot once you unplug it. So we'll wait for it to go to sleep. It's pretty much done. We're gonna turn it on now into a mode called download mode. And you achieve that by going to the device and selecting the volume up. Now, no, don't push the power, just volume up and plugging in the device. So you have to do them simultaneously, volume up and plugging in the device. And if you do it correctly, you'll notice that the screen will change and you get this little terminal connection between two things and it's gonna give it another second and it looks gonna give us a much bigger screen. It's a very dim screen and I'm sure you guys are having a hard time seeing it, uh, but essentially as we have a little USB logo with a circle around it and essentially it's, this is download mode. So the device right now is in download mode, we're ready. Um, and then basically the last thing we wanna do here in step nine, if we follow through on the step nine, it says basically send command and we need to basically figure out what our command is here. So. In the folder, we have a we actually have a ports.bat file. This is a batch file. So once you run this, and if your device is connected, go ahead and turn it on. It's going to open up a terminal port for itself, and I'm just going to put it here for you guys to have a reference on it. But you'll see that there is two ports that are listed: seven and eighteen. The one that we're going to use is the diagnostic port. So that would be this one, the diag one and it's COM18. So the test here that it says that we need to say send command, exe, and COM port, 
copy that, post it directly into the actual terminal that we use to be able to actually check the ADB and change that 4 to 18. 18 will allow us to be able to connect. And once we do that, we'll get a hashtag. Now we are able to actually send commands and basically run commands directly within our system. And this is almost 90% of it done. Uh, it's really, really, very, very, very simple at this point. Uh, what we need to do at this point is we'll go back to the main link and you need to copy this verbatim. Do not try to modify it. Do not try to add anything to it. This is basically a very simple uh, command that needs to be put in correctly. And again, make sure you copy the one for your current device or correct device. So you copy it from the DD portion all the way down to the right. Make sure you highlighted everything. You go copy. And in the actual terminal page, you just say paste. And what it's doing here, it's given us the ability to flash this image, this rooted image that we have on our system. And it tells you it's basically media zero, that's the internal storage, that's the image file. And it's telling it basically that it needs to flash over the existing one. Once you have that, it's pretty much a simple step process here. So we go ahead and run the command specified to your device. And this is going to take some time. So we'll go ahead and start it. And it's going to stay in a flickering mode. We'll give it about a couple of minutes for it to finish. But once we do get the actual hashtag option back, that's pretty much 90% of our work done here. Now that we actually see the hashtag or the uh, actual prompt come back to us, that pretty much means that the actual process is done. The only thing that we have to do at this point is leave. And that basically is type in the command leave. As soon as you type in the command leave, the system will reboot and we'll go back into normal boot mode. We'll go ahead and set. You notice our command prompt came back. And looking over at the actual device, it's actually restarting at this point. So our device booted up, as you noticed, it actually still looks the same. There's really no difference. All we did really was replace the system image. It didn't reflect any of the user data. So all of our pictures, everything is still here. So what we're going to do real quick, just to make sure, obviously, is we're going to go into root checker. And I'm going to say check. It's asking me for permission. I'll say grant. Of course, that obviously means that we do have root and it's been a granted root. And it says access granted user. Um, SuperSU basically is SuperSU was found. Now, the last thing I'm going to do here on the device just to make sure to kind of make this thing real quick is I'm going to use Flashify. You're able to you obviously flash your own uh, recovery the way you'd like it. I'm going to say Reflash Recovery Image. And I'm going to say Choose File. This is one of the things we did in the beginning where we actually saved our file to our system. We'll go all the way down to the bottom and then we're going to say Root Image. And it's just say Yep. And then once you do that, it's pretty much done. It's going to flash it. It'll go through its process. And that's done. And then we're just going to say reboot now. As you see here, Team Win Recovery. This is the new logo and it is compatible with our system. You get in, you have the ability, obviously, of you know doing a wipe. And if you notice also, we have the touch buttons at the bottom, which is very, very nice. The ability to go into settings, changing different options. I'm just going to say reboot system. The process is pretty simple. As long as you back up your information off your device, there really is very, very, very little way for you to mess things up. Because even if you have a problem and you end up going into a boot loop, the easy way to fix this is obviously to restore, and there are ways to restore your device here on XTA. Again, the step-by-step -step process is pretty self-inclusive. Um, other than that, let me know what you guys think. Now that we have root, what are some of the things that you're looking for and the excitement that you know we can do here? Of course, for me, number one is exposed. I want to get exposed on the system, uh, but not only that, I also want custom kernels. That's one of the main benefits of having root, and specifically a custom recovery to be able to basically start you know playing around and getting some more of those functionalities and extending the battery life on this already amazing battery life on the LG G4. So as usual, like and subscribe to our channel and please share our videos. We do appreciate you guys being fans. As usual, of course, like and subscribe to my channel and I will see you guys on the next one.